What will new leasehold reforms announced last week deliver for leasehold property owners in the area? Well, here's what we know so far. Now, leasehold reform may not be of the sexiest subject matters, but if you're one of the 4.3 million people in England who owns a leasehold property, don't doze off as these changes could significantly impact upon you. Now, the background. England's medieval leasehold laws are loathed by leaseholders who have dubbed them fleecehold. Key gripes include the following. The cost of lease renewal of freehold purchase. This can be tens of thousands of pounds or even more. If negotiations with the freeholder break down, the leaseholder can go to a tribunal, but this takes time and can be expensive. Escalating ground rents. In the worst cases, the ground rent on a leasehold house doubles every 10 years, leaving the leaseholder with an ever-growing bill and making it impossible to sell the property. Exorbitant service charges for maintaining communal areas and garden at apartment blocks. Freeholds being sold off to a cash-hungry third party. Here's a rundown of the proposed reforms. Number one, owners of leasehold homes or flats will be given the right to extend their lease by a maximum term of 990 years at zero ground rent. Currently, leaseholders of houses can only extend for 50 years with a ground rent while leaseholders of flats can extend as often as they wish at a zero peppercorn ground rent for 90 years. Benefit. In theory, the change would provide security and eliminate ground rent. However, it's not yet clear how much it would cost to secure a 990 year lease. So it's impossible to do a cost versus benefit analysis. Number two, owners of leasehold flats in apartment blocks will be able to shift to a common hold agreement model. Benefit, well, flat owners could take control of the upkeep of their building, ending rip-off maintenance charges Getting all the relevant parties to agree to move on a, to a common law agreement may be difficult though. Number three, introduction of an online calculator to simplify determining the cost of buying a freehold or lease extension. That sounds good. Well, benefit, this will take some of the hassle out of the negotiation process, but much depends on the formula you use to calculate the costs. Number four, the abolition of marriage value. The benefit, well, marriage value is rather cumbersome rule that has probably caused a few divorces in its time. It means that if a lease falls below 80 years, the cost of renewing it shoots up. When will these changes be introduced? Legislation regarding change number one will be brought forward in the upcoming session of Parliament. The rest will take longer to realise. If you'd like to be kept informed on the progress of these reforms, we'll be monitoring them very, very closely. So please get in touch with us here at Oliver James. Thanks for watching and stay safe.